Big plans in store for the state transportation department if Ed Sniffen is named director. Sniffen now a step closer to heading the department. A Senate committee recommended his approval today. I met with him after the hearing to discuss his goals and he says there are lots of work to be done. We definitely want to eliminate uh, fatalities. Without a doubt, Ed Sniffen says his number one priority, if named the HDOT director, will be preventing unnecessary deaths. In fact, he's already been working toward that goal as the deputy director of highways by addressing speeding. That when you see raised pedestrian crosswalks or speed humps pop up in your area, it's not because I don't like you. I just want to save lives. And with April being Distracted Driving Awareness Month, he's urging the public to pay attention at the wheel. Put your phones away. When you start driving, put it away. Make sure everybody understands you're not available. Get to your destination. Your emails, your voicemails, and your calls can wait till then. Sniffin was praised in Thursday's hearing, with the Senate Transportation Committee receiving overwhelming support. Ed has been an exceptional, exceptional leader. He's kind of shown us a new way of doing things, of delivering projects, of expediting response. Sniffin says his son did express concerns about him possibly taking the job. He said, Dad, I don't know if you should take this job. I asked him, why? Is, is something, would something be wrong? He said, yeah. Remember back when you first started in 2014 and you broke the zipper? Our friends were upset at us for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you break airports and harbors, we might not have any friends during high school. So. But appreciate all, all that they've gone through. As, as I've gone on this journey and their, their continued support as we move forward. His nomination passed with all four senators voting in his favor. I think Ed does have the capacity to drive change and he's demonstrated time and again that he can think outside the box. Love to be around here for the next four years to make sure we can move forward on a lot of improvements. One of the things at the top of his to-do list, fixing our roads. I mean, for a long time, we had the worst roads in the nation. We've moved forward on a lot of improvements to the highway system already. He's also got big plans for our airports, hoping to turn them into premier locations by improving cleanliness and offering visitors more experiences so the airports are not ranked near the bottom. And the harbor system, of course, we're upgrading consistently to ensure that we maximize safety and efficiency there. The recommendation now goes to the full Senate. Lee tells me that will probably happen next week.